Another unique feature in Camelot is uh, the possibility to switch from one scene to another without sound interruption. That is possible for hardware and software instruments, with, uh, of course, uh, uh, limitation for hardware instruments. In this example, I am using all the instruments that you, you can see around me and also many software instruments running on Camelot. Switching from one scene to another, there will be no sound interruption. An important thing to know is that uh, with other instruments, if the current scene has uh, an instance uh, running with uh, uh, a montage and then the landing scene has no montage at all, even if uh, the MIDI port is not selected in the landing scene, there will be no stacked notes or sound interruption because Camelot keeps alive the MIDI instance, the MIDI notes, until you release your finger from the keyboards or you release sustain pedal. So let's see that in action and we can analyze it step by step. In the first scene, I have uh, some sounds that are running from software instruments, Steinberg Pad Shop Pro, and we have uh, a montage, a bass sound, and a piano sound from the Studio Logic Numa Compact 2X. So let's hear. Okay, so let's analyze the second scene. The second scene has a different software instrument with Retrolog and Petrol Pro and uh, we have a different sound in Montage and uh, a new sound coming from Sledge, a pad sound. So in this case the landing scene has no sound from the Numa Compact UX and uh, has a new sound from Sledge. Let's see the smart scene transition. In this case I have two scenes with different sounds, in particular I have a piano sound running on the Numa Compact 2X that is not used anymore in the landing scene but I have a pad sound from Sledge. So what you can hear is that when I play the first scene I will hear all the sounds from those plugin instruments like uh, these three instances of Pad Show Pro, Montage and the Numa Compact 2X and when I land here I can play at the same time with my right hand the new sounds from other presets from Podshop and Retrolog, a new preset from Montage and a new sound from Sledge. But they both live together until I release my left hand. Okay, now I can show you also if uh, I switch from one scene to another, there's always an audio tail of the software instruments that uh, were being used in the previous scene. So basically there is no audio cut or sound interruption, even if I release my hands before the scene switch. As you can see, there is no audio interruption, even if I have loaded another scene. Let's do it again. So the effects, the tail of the sounds will be preserved. Another cool feature that is interesting to know, and uh, it's unique for Camelot, is that uh, with the hardware instruments, like uh, in this case Numa Compact 2X, any MIDI sound, any MIDI notes will stay alive until I release my hands or the sustain pedal after a scene switch. In uh, many cases, in uh, or other software, you will get easily stacked notes. So let me prepare this scene switch using 
the first scene only with uh, Numa Compass 2X and the landing scene with the uh, Studio Logic Sledge. Okay, now I am switching from the first scene to the second scene using only MIDI instrument. Here you can hear the piano and I, mm, I keep, uh, I'm holding the notes until when I switch the, uh, the scene. So you can hear the tail of the piano. Let's do that with uh, um, a sustained sound, so it will be easier to uh, recognize. That's maybe with piano and strings. Okay. Those notes are still alive, even if there is no uh, MIDI connection in the landing scene. If I release my uh, left hand, now it, they will be gone. So basically, with the other instrument, you need to carefully consider where you start and where you land. But uh, it's possible to create very nice effects without any sound interruption thanks to Camelot. Another consideration is the Smart Scene Switch is available also for iPad and uh, Camelot is the only app on iPad that allows you to switch from one sound to another without sound interruptions.